Dave Navarro here, by the way. Hello, uh, Dave Navarro. How are you? Good. I, you know, I came down here tonight to see Crew, Joe Berlinger's uh, new film. Huge fan of his films. Uh, I'm a documentary filmmaker myself. I'm in the process of working on a film. Now, didn't know what this film was about when I came down here. Joe called me up yesterday, said, you want to come see my new film? He knows I'm a fan. I was like, sure, I'd love to. Looked it up online. Crude, oh, this looks interesting. Must be about the oil business. I look into it a little deeper. Come to find that Chevron's been drilling Ecuadorian rainforest, killing thousands and thousands of people, making them sick as a result of the environmental pollution. And this was something that I was unaware of uh, until yesterday. And, you know, when you think about oil drilling, most of the public at large think about the, the struggles in the Middle East. We think about, you know, the Arabic countries and, and, and so forth. And I certainly did. But I wasn't aware with how deep and wide this issue spreads into different parts of the world. And thousands of people are dying in Ecuador it's, that are, you know, so far away from where I'm focused. And I'm thinking about the fighting and the killing going on over there. I was unaware of the environmental uh, ramifications here. So for me, uh, I was an owner of a hybrid car. I loved it. And, uh, you know, I haven't even seen the film yet, and I'm inspired to go out and uh, look into another piece of hybrid technology. You as a musician have a tremendous amount of influence. You're on stage in front of loads of people. You, uh, you have a say in what people consume. You right. really do. If you were to wear something and talk about it, people would emulate you. Right, right, right. And How I, do you and, feel about that? And frankly, I think that's a great idea, and I would rather have it be an emulation situation because it's a fine line when people start spouting off and preaching about stuff. It tends to put people off. And you need to live by example. And uh, that's the main thing that I would, I would consider doing is living by example. Yeah. Uh, because I know, personally speaking, when someone tells me, you should do this, you need to do that, it's, I'm instantly put off by that. Right. But if I see somebody doing something that's benefiting society and the world at large, and they're not spouting off about it, and they're not perched on a, on a, you know, a silver cloud as a result of it, that's intriguing, that's interesting. Sure. I mean, this is the example that I was just thinking that came to mind. Let's just say you wore a shirt that says, this shirt is made of hemp, no mm -hmm. pesticides. No, it's not something that radical, but something along those lines where people are just looking at you. Yeah, you would laugh because I'm not historically known for wearing shirts. Right, right. Well, well what if you were to paint it? I would wear hemp if I were to buy a shirt. That's a good You're idea. wearing a shirt right now. That's a very, very good idea. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I could do that, certainly. Just, just you, if you got one, if you want to give me one, I'll wear it right now. Okay, well, let's uh, keep in touch and we'll get you something. Okay, buddy. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Dave. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you.